What are you thinking? $50. 50 bucks? What's up everybody, we're Four Bears Goods. If you guys are new to this channel, uh, me and my wife, we go to flea markets, garage sales, uh, state sales, basically anywhere we can get a deal and find vintage goods. We do clothing, mostly t-shirts. We do look for toys, stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We do appreciate everyone that watches. We're a small channel, so every sub definitely helps us. Okay guys, in today's video, we're gonna go to a hoarder's house. It was uh, on the State Sale Net app. It's on a Tuesday, which is weird. I've never been to one on a Tuesday. So yeah guys, stick around, see what we find, see what we pull out of this house. How small the ceilings are. I don't know, I was just showing you. Yeah, it was like a military one. Mm -hmm. Man, look how creepy this is. Oh, that's cool, though. Yeah. have that one it's like 1970 Ooh, nice it's a good one I just bought like a million hats well like all these old dolls Open the drawers, it's like a stink bug just chilling. This might be the honey hole. Oh, is this a lightning one?
What am I buying you? There's a spider up in the corner. <laughs> oh, man. Like a... <coughs> oh my god, the dust. Where the fuck are the tools at? I thought... Oh my god, look at the box. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, just smell that. What is it? Just smell it. It's minestrone soup. Oh. The customers have to get through somehow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna. You're out here for the pile, or are you in person there? Uh, no, you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay. I said it's breathe, easier to breathe out here than in this. What are you thinking? $50. 50 bucks? Yeah. I can't do less than that. Yep. So I got kids. <laughs> oh my gosh, you put that on your baby, your wife would shoot. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would freak out. How about 40? You hooked me up with the bear at the last sale. Remember in Ringwood? I know. Yeah. How about 45? Okay. Okay? Yeah. It's, it's really advice here, not really here. Yeah. I mean, you know? Yeah. Yeah, guys, we're back home now. Not too bad. We got some good items here. Estate sale prices are crazy. They normally look up stuff online or they just, they're pretty knowledgeable of what things are now and they know that vintage t-shirts are like the hot commodity. So I went to one maybe a couple weeks ago. I didn't film it, but that lady was like charging, I think like five to $10 a t-shirt. That's probably why she gave me that price. Uh, the one t-shirt obviously is worth that. We'll get into that in a second. But yeah, 50 bucks. I kind of only wanted to pay maybe like 20, 30 bucks at max, but it is what it is. The one t-shirt's at least worth 100 bucks or close to it, 75 to 100. So, I'm happy. So first is this uh, Ben Cooper uh, 1966 kids uh, costume. This would have came in like a box with the mask. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the mask. It's super creepy. One's listed right now on eBay, I think for 25 bucks. Then we did pick up this awesome single stitch uh, like cowboy scene. It is made in USA, size medium. Tag is really faded though. It is single stitch, like I said. This is easily like a $25 t-shirt. Then we have this uh, motorcycle club bandana. Uh, subject matter is obviously not the best. I probably shouldn't have picked this up, but I know a buddy that rides. Maybe he can repurpose the flag for American flag or something. Then we do have this uh, Subway Series or Subway Showdown 2000. You got Derek Jeter on there. I think it's Mike Piazza also. Single stitch on the all sport tag, size large. Easily a $25 shirt. Then I found the Polo Sport little bag. I'm dropping it too. This is probably like 20 bucks if that. It's kind of beat up. Uh, nothing super crazy. These are the two items that are obviously the best out of the whole haul. So first you have this Polo Sport Ralph Lauren hat. These are normally listed over 50 bucks. I don't think it's made in USA. It's made in, it's made in Indonesia. So probably not super vintage maybe early 2000s, but this is definitely a sought after hat. I would say easily 50 bucks on this one. And then the last tee, it's my first time ever pulling one of these. It's the USA Thunder. 
If you guys know vintage, these are pretty pretty valuable. I said I've never found one before. It is single stitch, both bottom and top. There is no dry rot. So I'm happy about that. It is on the Caribbean Dream Tag. Not gonna really pick up. So you have this uh, basically wolf, kind of like a Native American print. And then you have the USA Thunder on the back, lightning bolt. Yeah, so there's one listed right now, I think, or a couple listed. They're around like uh, 90 to to $100 for this one. It is a size large, but it is super boxy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might trade it up to uh, another Trading for a Grail episode. Yeah, guys, we ended up paying $45 for everything. Uh, let me know below if it was a good deal. What's your favorite piece? She was asking $50. I came at $40. We met at $45. I knew the t-shirt and the hat were at least $50 each, so I was going to pay the $45. Yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.